Hello everyone, welcome to our Gurtam TV. This is the beginning of our second season of Gurtam meetups and webinars, where we discuss the different topics related to VLAN functionality, hardware usage, and telematics trends in general. If you missed any of the previous sessions, please note that they are available on our website under the community tab and on our YouTube channel. During today's webinar, we would like to cover the topics of using VLON as an upselling tool for your business. Also, we will be showing how to work with different billing plans in CMS Manager, which will be useful when working with various customer accounts and services provided to them. We do hope this webinar will help our newly joined partners and everyone who are looking for some pointers on how to grow their business. My name is Karina Lukyanova. I'm a business development manager at Gurtam. With me is my colleague Java here, uh, regional development manager at Gurtam. Before we proceed, let me mention that you can type your questions in a common YouTube chat on the right corner of your screen. We will go through them at the end of our webinar during the Q&A session. Well, let us begin. The current situation across the world has changed the normal realities for all businesses, including telematics as well. We are constantly trying to find a new ways on how to increase our profits and establish a higher position in the market. A very common misconception these days is that providing a cheaper price, you will get more clients. Well, when done correctly, discounts indeed can help close deals faster. However, Constant discounts attract the wrong type of customers, the customers who do not care for the value of the services. Such customers usually require a quick solution and do not care for a long business relationship and do not bring much profit to your business. Apart from discounts, there are numerous sales techniques that can be considered whilst working with your customers. One of them is upselling. We believe that upselling can be a much more useful method for increasing your business sales. In addition, they are also a genuine benefit for your customers. We are sure they will appreciate being offered a service that either complements or adds the value to their original purchase. So Jay, can you tell us what is upselling? Great question, Karina. Upselling is a sales technique where a service provider invites the customer to purchase additional items, upgrades or other add-ons to generate more revenue. We believe that this is one of the most important concepts in growing your business. One might even call it an art. Why an art, you might ask? Well, upselling so uh, something to your customer who already purchased a solution from you takes a lot of skills and knowledge. It takes time to learn your customer base and determine their business needs. Recently, we have noticed that some of our partners are not taking full advantage of the flexibility of VLON when working with the new end customers. A frequent question arises on how to compete with a cheaper competition on the market or how to correctly advertise a solution to make a maximum profit. With this in mind, we would like to present the best practices of how to use VLON as a business tool and not just as a software. First of all, let us discuss how to approach new opportunities, as this is the most important stage in building your relationship with the customer. At the beginning of the sales period, we always recommend doing the full research on a business you're planning to approach. This will help you indicate their strong and weak points, potential money losses, and general position on the market. Once you have a full research on hand, you will know how to approach them. Whilst presenting the solution, identify the key features that will pique the customer's interest. There is no need to show the entire spectrum of functionality as technical complexity might actually turn them down. Once the sale is completed, maintain your relationship with the customer to make sure that they are satisfied with the solution. Once you receive a positive feedback from the customer and you have gained their trust, this is when you start proposing additional modules and services. The key point is always presenting the true value for each customer. What do we mean by the true value? Let us take an example of the fuel module. Our research has shown that by using the fuel control module on VLON, the average fuel cost for the fleet owner has decreased by 15% and the fuel theft has decreased to 90%. We are confident that any fleet owner would appreciate such savings, especially in the countries where the fuel cost is very high. Yes, it is very important here to understand how much the fleet owner spends on the fuel and present the concrete examples on how, to, how much money he will actually save. 
Now, let us look into in more details of what else can be considered for upselling within Velon itself. Well, first of all, limiting amount of some features is as effective as the entire feature. For example, instead of promoting a general feature of reports, offer just a specific type of report that will contain the information that is required by the customer. For example, customer needs to see the start point of the trip, final destination, and the mileage. With flexibility of our report, you can do so. Same concept can be applicable to other elements, such as notifications or to offenses. Branding can also be considered as an upselling feature. Ability to have their own branded website, mobile apps, and reports can be a great, great, sorry, great additional perk for a bigger company who require a solution to be matched up with their corporate style. Another great thing is data storage. Um, as you know, a standard VLON hosting account comes with a 90 days data storage. Well, you don't have to offer this capacity straight away to your customers. Include this as an additional feature. This is a very common practice across the big brands. As an example, look into Apple and their iCloud storage offers. In general, we do recommend creating several billing plans that will apply to a different type of customer. One of the great way, ways to work with your clients is that by creating three different packages which would include different types of services and pricing. For example, the first package would be basic account that would include a simple live location of the vehicle, basic report and one type of notification. Such a package would be oriented as a cheaper option. This type of functionality should be enough to cover the basic needs of a company such as a rented car, for example. The second package would be more advanced account, where you could potentially include features like geofences, drivers, several reports and notifications. Here you could work more closely with your client and make a custom solution according to their requirements. Such options would suit companies such as a delivery or a courier. Keeping in mind that this option has already more features in it, we would advise to increase the pricing 40 to 50% from the basic package. And the last package would be a VIP account or an advanced package, where more advanced features would be available to the end user. For example, working with fuel or temperature reports, unlimited, sorry, temperature sensors, uh, unlimited reports and notifications. Such an account would be granted for a much higher price and to more advanced customers, such as logistics companies. Estimated price would be 30 to 40% higher from the medium package. You are free to modify the packages according to the client needs, add or remove necessary features. Now, Jay, maybe we can show an example of how to work with CMS Manager and the bidding plans in it? Most definitely. Let's have a look. Yeah. As you can see, this is a very familiar web interface of our CMS. Um, I have selected the billing plan section and let's have a look with the basic billing plan. You start off with a general setup of the billing plan. As you can see, I've named it basic as we are setting up a basic billing plan for your basic clients. Here you can, you have the option to block or limit this uh, account uh, within the billing plan by balance or block them by days. Also, you have the option to limit their his history storage. Here, I've mentioned 30 days because this is a basic billing plan designed for basic users. Moving further, in the services, I have disabled most of the features of VLON, including the mobile apps, as well as the web applications. I have also disabled uh, most of the other features and I have also set a limit to common features like uh, commands, reports and notifications. Moving further, I have disabled most of the uh, features. You're more, more than welcome to do so depending on your client's needs. When you're done, you just click OK. Voila, you have a basic billing plan ready and as you can see, at the bottom in the logs it shows that it's, it has been updated. Moving further, uh, medium billing plan concept is absolutely the same. You give it a name, you have the option of blocking or limiting it by balance, also blocking it by days. Here you set a history period, I've chosen 90 days because this is a medium package and it's more a bit more advanced from the basic billing package. Basic billing plan, I'm sorry. 
Um, I have selectively activated some of the features of VLON and uh, web applications like dashboard, eco driving, and sensor I have also increased the limits on the common features like commands, reports, and notifications. We go to the down the list. I have activated a bit more features, but not all of them. Click OK. Here you go. You have a medium billing plan. Now, advanced billing plan is the easiest because here, once you give it a name and you set the history period, you can set it to 90 days or more. If you want to have more than 90 days history storage on your account, please talk to your personal account manager. In services, uh, in the advanced billing plan, I have enabled all the features because this is a VIP client. He would uh, require all the features enabled and he's ready to pay. I have also lifted all the limitations on the common features like commands and uh, notifications and reports. Click OK, voila. You have three billing plans ready to use to your clients. Now, how to apply it to your clients? In the account section, you have, your, uh, you have the accounts of your clients and depending on what kind of package they have chosen, you select the billing plan for them. Let's go for the medium customer. You know, he's a medium customer, but he starts with the basic package. For example, instead of uh, giving him the medium billing plan, you give a basic billing plan from the beginning and later when he wants to upgrade, you just change the billing plan. That's it. That is as easy as it looks in this uh, webinar. It is looks easy indeed. Um, well, let us proceed. Apart from VLON itself, our web applications can be resolved as an additional feature as well. Heatron, Logistics, Nimbus, and other, sorry, and other applications have been especially developed to bring value to your business. Let us take an example of Heatron and how potentially it could be advertised to your clients. The most important here is to analyze the general fleet cost in your region, as well as the other conditions that could cause any unplanned maintenance, for example, hot weather or bad roads. Let us assume that you are providing a fleet management services for a distribution company with several trucks. Uh, through the open online resources, we can see that on average cost of owning a truck company is around $3,500 per month per vehicle. This, of course, will vary in the region where you are based. Um, this cost includes mainly fixed expenses, such as truck payments, office lease, permits, and etc. However, the price increases much more due to the variable costs, such as fuel, maintenance, taxes, and so on. Only on unplanned repairs, the owner can spend up to $560 per month. And if the owner has at least 10 trucks, well, this number increases to $5,600 per month. This could be avoided if the owner would have an ability to properly control and schedule maintenance of his vehicles. Hence, the requirement for a flat years. Moving further, let me also share a quick example on how to sell our logistics application. As you know, it's a dispatch system that can control entire order process. Let us imagine selling this application to a restaurant owner who has his own motorcycles and purchased a basic solution from you. Some small chains do the food delivery on their own without outsourcing it to the big guys like Uber Eats or other similar services. Let us think on what struggles can such businesses have by providing their own delivery. Well, the, well, the delivery drivers can be late or deliver the order to the wrong place. This is just to name a few. All of these factors can affect the image of the restaurant and decrease their margins as customers simply had a bad experience with them. Our logistics application can help with this. While using it, a restaurant would be able to have a convenient control of the food delivery process and reduce the risks of losing a valuable customer base. Let me also mention the importance of our application EcoDriving. This module is a universal upselling tool and can be applicable to many fleet owners. I'm sure many end customers are facing difficulties with constant penalties for reckless driving, speeding tickets, and want to improve our general fleet performance. EcoDriving has shown the real results in, <clears throat> sorry, in helping the fleet owners to save costs in maintenance, in maintenance and fuel, since it primarily depends on the way the vehicle is being handled. Driver behavior 
monitoring is indeed a niche solution to upsell. However, let me share about another interesting web application you can sell as an add-on. We can see that there is a certain demand in public transport generally. This type of service usually comes from clients who have a small to medium fleets of buses that transport people across the city. They might seem to look for basic tracking with only location of the vehicle and some of the notifications. However, this type of clients are very good targets for you to upsell our Nimbus solution. Nimbus is a web application with an interface which enables you to create and optimize routes, manage schedules and bus stops for your client and their fleet. Now, let me show you in CMS Manager how to create a separate billing plan based on a specific application. Karina, which application do you think I should sell now? Um, let's try EcoDriving. I think that's the most applicable to all of our partners. Sounds good. Let's do EcoDriving. We're looking at our very familiar CMS billing plan section uh, here we have to create a separate billing plan for our client who is specifically interested in eco-driving. You create a, create a billing plan, you give it a name, let's call it eco-driving one. For example, you decide if you want to block it by balance or limit it by balance or block it by days. Also, you, you decide the history period. I'm gonna leave it as it is, but this is up to you to change. You click OK, here you go. In the logs, you can see that billing plan eco-driving one has been created. We do a couple of clicks and we can already see this billing plan in our list. Let's open it. Now, the good thing is that here you have already created a billing plan with limited features and you can leave it as it is depending on how you sold it to the, to the client. However, the only thing that you need to make sure to do is enable eco driving in the web applications. The rest is absolutely up to you which features you want to enable or disable or limit within this billing plan. We have enabled eco-driving in the list. We we'll click OK. Here you go. We have an eco-driving billing plan ready to go. Let's go back to your clients. He already has an account, obviously, because he, he was using your basic billing plan. As you can see, this is the client here. You just upgrade them from basic billing plan to eco-driving one because your client is now ready to pay more. You click OK. That is as easy as it looks. Uh, now your client has access to eco-driving web application. Great. Thank you, Jay. Uh, for more examples and similar cases, we do encourage all of our partners to refer to our use case library on our website. Here, partners from around the world are sharing their ways of the alone implementations, and those can be used when pitching to the new clients. This way, they will be able to understand the offered solution in the real situation and the results. Link to the library will be available in the description below to this video. So, Jay, are there any other options that could be upsold as an extra within Vialon? Within Vialon, always. Um, however, let me talk to about something uh, important. Another important thing to mention would be the ability to create custom developments on top of VL. Using the power of Open API, you can build and provide your own solutions to your clients. If you have a development team within your company, you are more than welcome to develop your own custom niche solution, a niche solution to exclusively upsell to your clients. Having your own custom development means that you can theoretically set it sell it at any price that you want. This can also be a great way to increase your profits with VL. Integrations with third-party softwares, mobile developments, and others can be a great add-on value to your customers. Furthermore, if you wish to outsource or borrow the custom development from someone else, you do not have to go far. Just look for VL Software Developer Partners on our website. Link to this page will be available in the description below this video. Here, you can see the solutions that have been built, built on top of VLON by other partners. Feel free to approach them directly via their contact details or in our part partner chats and forums. Great. Well, um, we are now done with our main part of this webinar. We still have some time left and we would be glad to answer your questions. Please type them in the comment chat and we will address them right now. Okay, so let us look into if we have any questions already. 
Okay, so one of the questions um, that is quite commonly being asked um, is what to do if the competition is offering the same set of features but for much cheaper price? Well, it is a tricky question, um, but we believe that it's always important to look into if uh, on entire picture and what uh, of all services that are being offered by the competition. Because features might look the same, uh, but they might not offer the same services as, uh, as we do. For example, many providers are not uh, offering a free support, um, which is, comes as an additional price. So the point here is always find uh, hidden costs because uh, we believe that there is no cheaper solution uh, that they're available in the market. So it's just perhaps there's some services that is priced as an extra. Jay, do you have anything to add? Uh, of course. Let's just imagine that in your market, there is uh, a competition that is sim 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 seemingly providing the same features, but for cheaper price. First of all, as we've mentioned, you have to do, do the research of your customer. Now, even if they are offered the same uh, number of features by the other competition, but for the cheaper price, you have to look into their uptime the performance and scalability of their solution, because in most of the cases, that's the, that's the situation that you face. Great. Let us move on to another question, Jay. Um, what to do if the end customer believes that eco-driving is a basic feature and don't want to pay extra for it? Well, um, I can easily imagine that happening, even though it will not be a true, true thing. However, let us imagine the market where eco-driving is considered to be a basic feature. Apart, apart from the name, eco-driving is essentially a driver behavior and it has a lot of factors that uh, accounts for the evaluation of the driver behavior. Even though if there is another uh, offerings from other partners in the market of eco-driving, you have to check off their criteria. Maybe they don't have all the factors to consider or their uh, platform is not stable enough or the performance or the scalability, as I've mentioned in the previous question. However, even if the reality is that eco-driving is considered to be a basic package in the market, the beauty of VLON is that you're more than welcome to sell something else. We have logistics, Nimbus, or 20 other different web applications that you can upsell to your client. As long as you know the client, you're good to go. Great. Um... And we have one more question we can also address. Um, what can I do if there is no examples of previous cases on a solution that I want to implement? Well, this is definitely not an issue whatsoever. Uh, if you have any new or creative ways of how to implement Vialon in a region, well, that is always great. And we are happy that um, you taking that solution forward to Finn. So you will be a sort of a trendsetter, let's say, in the market, and um, you have the ability to promote this um, uh, solution further. Um, if you're worried for uh, the fact that you're not sure how to um, implement the solution, well, we always have your uh, dedicated implementation specialist within our teams. Um, and each region have their own one, and they'll be always happy to help you from the start of the project up until the end with all the features. Um, so it's definitely not an issue whatsoever. And then if you wish to uh, promote your solution, uh, then we have a blog as well, uh, where we have mentioned before, and uh, the link will be in the description as well. Um, we can always, our marketing team will be happy to help you to write an article about the solution. So that will be also a promotion for you here as well. Yeah, uh, do we have any more questions, Jay? Yes, uh, sure. bef before we end, uh, end this question, I have a couple of things. Sure, sure, to of course, yes. Okay. Yeah, now, uh, if you have a situation where you have your own idea, a concept that you want to implement in the market and it hasn't been implemented yet, that gives you an ultimate advantage in the market to create your own niche solution and apply it uh, to, your, to, to your market. And you can, again, you, you control the price because you're the only company who will be providing this niche solution. Great. Well, I don't see any more questions uh, in the chat. I think we are... Let's have a look. 
Let's just double check. I think I think we are fine. Yes. Yes. Yep. Yes. Um, anyway, we would like to thank you for your attention. Um, if you will have any questions in the future, please do not hesitate to contact us via email as well. Each of our partners has a dedicated personal manager, and we'll be glad to help you with any projects you might have. Please know that the recording of this webinar will be available on our website and YouTube page. Please don't forget to also join us on 29th of October at 5 p.m. GMT plus free time for a webinar which will be dedicated to a video on VLAN and working with CMS v6 specifics. Webinar will be hosted by our colleague Alexander Buslo from the hardware team. We would also like to remind our partners about the new feature of Partners Math, which is now available on our website. Using this map, now the end users have a faster way in finding their own VLON provider in their region. Please fill in all of the necessary information through your personal portal myvlon.com in the office section. Before we go, we would like to invite you all to visit our booth during the Jitex Technology Week. Jitex claims to be the only global tech show in 2020 coming live, and it's a great opportunity for us to meet our great partners face to face. We would appreciate it if you could update us on your travel plans and schedule a meeting with your personal manager. Well, thank you for us for joining us today here in Dubai and have a great evening. Bye. Bye-bye.